Welcome to this special edition of The Spill, where we're talking about banks to avoid. After using Trackstar, our proprietary sentiment indicator, and analyzing key financial metrics, we've identified three regional banks that you should be wary of. First up is PacWest Bancorp, and with significant relationships with VC firms, it has 23% of total deposits in venture banking. However, venture capital loans still account for 10% of the company's total portfolio. If even half of these loans go bad, PacWest could be in serious trouble. We predict this bank might not survive. Next is Western Alliance Bancorp, a geographically regional bank with a smaller exposure to technology companies. The concern here is unrealized losses lurking in their held for investment portfolio. Selling these securities will result in massive losses. And as we've seen with SVB, deposit outflows can force banks to do just that. Western Alliance's survival odds? We say about 50-50. And last but not least, we have New York Community Bank Corp. And while it's not in danger of failing, its balance sheet is heavily weighted towards HFI-backed loans, and it has $3.4 billion exposure to the New York commercial real estate market. The stock is unlikely to grow, leaving it as dead money with its exposure to Manhattan real estate. So there you have it, our top three regional banks to avoid.